Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how to maintain TYFC table. TYFC table is very important where you want have to have dynamic parameters. So lots of time what it is very much heavily used in cases where suppose you have created a program and you have mentioned some dynamic parameters, suppose a plant and you are going to maintain TYFC until entry for that plant. So in, there might be cases that the logic is specific to a particular plant, but there can be more plants added. So instead of moving transports and changing your code, you are going to just change the entry in DYFC table. So the transaction code is STYFC. So here what I'll do is I'll go in change mode. What I'll do is I'll click create and I'll create uh, suppose this is a parameter i don't want to create a parameter what i'll do is i'll create a new one so suppose for plant okay. I'll click plant and i'll select you can do parameter you can do select option so i'll select select option and here it's very simple you just go into multiple selection and here suppose i put zero 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 one to suppose zero 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 five okay and i click on execute and and i save it so the moment i do this okay so this parameter has been saved now if i go back and if i see if you go if i click here now in the select options because i select created select option you see the plant has been created and it's zero zero one to zero zero five and just and I can just mention this so it will so in my code I will write just select this from TYRC plant this parameter and it should work from there so this is a very very effective way where you can put dynamic parameter here and you can use it in your custom program in your user exit to read that and use it accordingly so the, the greatest usage of this if you want the enhancement is not working you can just delete this entry and it should work okay and if you want to add more stuff you can just add new entries and in this way you you give the business the power to control and you don't need to write a code to move transports and this is not uh, this you don't need a transport for this so you can maintain it directly in production so that's the usage of this it's very useful and uh, we recommend you use it everywhere and so that's it for today stay hit in to stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a good